Now back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Gaston's White River Resort, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Barton Power Sports. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on this August the 13th. And um, we have, it is that uh, second Saturday, which uh, Ron Wong, even though he's under the weather, Good morning, everybody. Um, Look at him. He's chipper. Uh, he sounds trying, chipper. Trying, trying, to, uh, trying to make the day, but it'll be fine. You know, you, uh, you get these summer colds occasionally, and they kind of linger on. And but you got to be able to speak at 1 o'clock today. I can do it. He can do that, and Ron will be out at the um, Mid-South Hunting and Fishing Extravaganza today, which opens at 9 a.m. and goes through 7 p.m. at the Agri Center, and he'll be out there at 1 o'clock giving a seminar and uh, another one of our seminar speakers is also going to be a busy man uh, this weekend at the uh, hunting and fishing show, as I'm going to call it, because uh, that's our good friend Chris Knight from the Shelby Forest Taxidermy. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Larry. Hey, buddy, uh, you've ex- you've uh, accepted a new responsibility this year. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> We're uh, going to handle all the paperwork and all the mounts that come in for the taxidermy contest. Well, tell our listeners a little bit about the taxidermy contest. Is it basically the same as we've had? It is. Um, I don't think there's going to be any difference. Um, the, I think in past we had a judge's choice for best of show, but it's going to be people's choice. People's choice. Yes, sir. So that way all the attendees get to vote on everything that's there. Yeah. And, uh, what they think is the best mounts that uh, we have to show. So, and you're going to have here's if I'm not mistaken, you're going to have game head. Uh, tell our listeners what that will be. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, game heads will be uh, deer shoulder mounts, a elk, okay, uh, a sheep, whatever. Uh, big game heads. Big game heads. All right, and that's I know that's the you know we think of big bucks and things along that line that you'll have that. Then you're going to do bird, right? Yeah, birds, uh, mostly it'd probably be waterfowl, a lot of ducks, geese. Uh, occasionally you might get a pheasant. So. And, then, and then you'll have fish. Fish, uh, bass, smallmouth, uh, largemouth, brim, crappie. And then life-size mammal. Life-size mammals usually would be like coyotes and bobcats, foxes. Okay, nobody's going to bring an elk in, you don't think? I don't think so. That'd be a little bit on the big side. Okay, I just want to make sure. Out. Yeah. <laughs> and then reptiles. I mean, do you get a whole lot of uh, orders for reptiles? No. Uh, some some snakes on occasion that people uh, <laughs> All get right. a rattler down in Texas. So. And then, of course, you're going to have the Judges' uh, Choice Award for Best of Show, right? That's correct. That'd be the overall highest scoring piece at the show. And now, will you have Judges? Uh, no, the the the, the, the people uh, attendees are the judge. The the attendees are the are the judge. So, folks, yes, when you go out there, and you'll have a chance to vote on these things right at the That's booth. Correct. And I'm assuming, are, are you going to be where are you going to be located? You know yet? Where are you out there? We're on the southwest corner, back the in there. Southwest corner, along that long shoot there, where you come in, right uh, on that uh, that entrance there to southwest corner. And and folks, uh, I know they'll be, and you can bring your mount in today, Saturday. You know, we started uh, up till closing. Up till closing today at seven o'clock, and then uh, to, on Sunday the show opens at ten. Now, is this? Uh, can, is, is today the final day to enter, Saturday, or can you bring That's in correct. something on Sunday? No, some? Saturday at closing is the final day to enter your piece. Okay, so you need to get there today if you're out there and you're going to the show the, this morning, uh, whatever, from, from uh, 9 to 7, you need to get out there and take your piece over there to uh, to Chris and his gang. And, and then on Sunday... I'm saying, what, mid-afternoon or so? We hope to have the finals. Is that uh, right? By uh, 3 o'clock, uh, will be, all the awards will be, be done. So. At 3 o'clock, you'll have all the awards. And and I know when I think of you, what what would you say your specialty is, Chris? Um, uh, waterfowl. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. You love to do waterfowl, don't yes, you? Yes, sir. Now, so if someone, don't be embarrassed to take it out there saying, I don't want Chris to look at my waterfowl. <laughs> I mean, I know what he does, but um, I'm, I'm really surprised. A lot of these people will bring in mounts that have been done by, not only by you, but others, taxidermists. Sure. And uh, so they want to show it off. Let's, right. And I want to ask you, and you're going to be doing some seminars for me. That's correct. 
And you're going to be talking about the the, the, the the duties of a taxidermist. Well, what we're, what we're doing and we've done for the last several years is to show people hands-on yeah. how to keep out uh, deer head, elk head, whatever they have for the people that hunt out west, up north, that uh, they need to do this in the field. They do. Yeah. Yes, sir. So and it, uh, we actually bring in a head really? and show you in real life what to do with it. Now I want to know, and I'm going to ask Ron Walk. Have you, do you have, you know, do you have uh, fish mounted, Ron? You know, years ago I did. You did. Didn't um, you? No longer do I do that. Because um, you catch too many big ones. Well, actually, I <laughs> encourage people to have replicas made. Just take a measurement of your fish. Oh yeah, well I understand. And have yeah. repl- replicas made. Um, right. Um, and nowadays, Chris can I mean, do that. Chris yes. can do that, can't you, Chris? Yes, sir. We do a lot of them. Well, see, and that's the way to go because yeah, yeah. Um, don't the, the brood stock stays where it should stay in the water. That's a good idea. Um, yeah, and, and uh, all of these, a lot of you know, so many people like Chris do such a great job now mm-hmm. on these replicas, uh, and they will last longer too. Because I have to tell you, and Chris will tell you, you know, no matter what you do. In terms of taxidermy, over time, you really have to have them touched up again. That's true. And you, well, all of us have to be touched up yeah, again. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah, Pete, hey, I remember, uh, I remember when I did a story on a on a taxidermy. He's over in Arkansas. You probably know him. And I walked in the store over there, and he said, "We don't do people." <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So what's, that's why they got doctors. <laughs> yes. So what's the most unusual thing you've ever done, uh, tax dermis, uh, that you've ever done? Uh, one, well, it is a little bit on the weird side, but I had a lady that had her dog's foot amputated. Yeah. And she wanted a keychain made out of the foot. Are you serious? I'm serious. Well, I can <laughs> I, I can see that. <laughs> Instead of a rabbit's foot, she had her lucky dog's foot. She had her lucky Nothing wrong dog's with that. foot. I hope it was a small dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was going to say if she had a big one in her in her purse, it, it, it would have would have taken a lot more. And again, we're talking to Chris Knight, a good friend from Shelby Forest Taxidermy, uh, out in that area. And how long have you been doing this? Um, since I was fourteen. All right, not, I'm not asking you how. Old, I'm a but, day older than that. Um, I'm going to say that. So you've been doing it for how many years? Uh, about thirty years. About thirty years. Now, Chris, is this uh, an art farm that you that you don't want to go away? I'm assuming. Uh, are, are we able to get young people into this, or, or people? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I would say the majority of the, the uh, entries for the tax damage contest will be young people. Really? Yeah, the, the guys that are just starting out and they want to see what people think of their work. Yeah. And this is one of the best ways to do it because these are the customers that uh, are looking at the, at your work. And um, those are the people that you want to appeal to. Well, how do you, I mean, you get started in this. Do you, do you have a mentor? Did you have someone? That... I did. I did. I studied one-on-one with a fellow who had been in it for, for quite a few years. Uh-huh. He's retired now. Yeah. And um, I think that's probably one of the best things. It's, it's hard to find somebody to that'll let you do that nowadays because Absolutely. everybody's so busy and there's not near as many people in the industry as there used there's to be. Not, so. There's not, is it? And, and, and I, you consider yourself an artist, don't you? Absolutely. Some degree, I think uh, craftsman would be craftsman, more okay. of all of it. All right, craftsman is part of this, but there there are a lot of fly by night people. They are. They come and go, though. You know, they're um, so don't bring your mount in out there. If uh, I mean, if Chris can look at it. You could bring it. He doesn't care. But I'm just telling you, uh, uh, you know, there's some good there's some good folks around here, and Chris is one of those uh, guys that has been in a long time and. Uh, has been part of this show, but I think uh, this is a time, folks. If you just want to look at certain things, mm-hmm. and Absolutely. and 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 look and see what's cool and uh, you know and, and what's not. I mean, I, I know I had uh, a big deer I killed in Ames Plantation uh, was mounted by my good friend James Edgar mm-hmm. over in uh, in Arkansas. And uh, after I had that one mounted, of course, I've killed three bigger, but I didn't want to do it yet, right. you know. So uh, I'm looking at other things. So, again, uh, show hours today are from 9 to 7, and you need to be there. If you've got something you want to get in the contest, uh, it's $20 per mount entry fee. 
There will be one winner in each of the five categories, okay? Yes, and sir. the cutoff entry is at the close of the night. And then about 3 o'clock Sunday, hey, folks, you need to uh, – it's one of the biggest crowds that we have on Sunday afternoon to see who wins this thing. And I, you know, I get I, – I love it. I mean, there's applause and all this kind of stuff going on. Chris, thank you, buddy, and I'll see you, out, see you out there later today, okay? All right, buddy. All right thank, thank you. you. All right, Chris Knight, and uh, let's take a break. Ron Wong is coughing in the room. Uh, Guy Trebo is uh, propped up over there early this morning working on uh, LROutdoors.com, and I bet Ron's got some stuff for him. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. All right, we'll be right back. You can find out all about it all. Outdoors with Larry. 